So that side is done. Uh, I just need airing out. But before I start airing out on that side, I need to to put on the the new caliper on this side and also the pads. Uh, or else I'm gonna push out the, the, the piston in the, in the caliper. So everything needs to be go into place before we can start airing out. So I'm gonna do the same here. Cleaning this off, make it ready to be flipped over on the other side. <laughs> or on, <laughs> on the other caliper, I mean. <sighs> so this is much newer, so there are new hoses on this side because I changed the upper control arm. <sighs> um, this is not going to be as stuck, I think. The rest is over. I'm just going to open it, making it ready. Mm, okay, it's pretty stuck. Oh, it's loose. Okay, so that's ready now. I'm just gonna leave it hanging. And then we can start mounting the, the bracket. Just gonna put some uh, cover spray on the not ready part. Tighten this up. That's done then. Set the torque 115. And this should be preset to that. Yep. We can manage to do this. So my torque gear wrench is too thick. So I'm gonna use the breaker bar and just set it as good as I can. I'm just gonna feel how the other ones feel. Do the pads straight away. So just want to make sure there's uh, these are not sticking into the disc and they are in their place. 
So we can do the, the pads. That's already. So before I switch over the uh, the caliper, I'm gonna push back the oil that's in the caliper uh, into the reservoir, back into the system by using this uh, brake tool. Um, I didn't do it on the other side because I forgot it. So uh, yeah. Use some cover spray on at the end because it makes it easier for it to spin. So This way there is, uh, I'm gonna need less brake fluid after changing uh, out the calipers and when I'm bleeding the system. That's all the way in. Done. Now we can get the new caliper, get it up there, and then uh, switch over. Like so, new caliper, hang it up. Like so, and new shims ready. Then we can get it over. So I'm not going to use gloves on this because it's easier. As I said, there's one uh, shim underneath and one on the top, so we have to pull out the screw all the way. Let's see here. There, the one shim's underneath. Get that off. Hopefully, get it off. Okay, the shim is not coming off. <laughs> Come on. Maybe because it's been tightened so much. Come on. Come on! Now it's coming. That's up. The other one. Got the, someone has really tightened this uh, too much. Get it 
because here yeah, someone has really uh, tightened it, so it's uh, it's not coming off. So I'll just fly it off. Yeah. So, bring it back. Then we can put on the new shims. Uh, put it through the. This is going that way. Yep. One on top, and the other underneath. Right. Yeah. You on top are recording, so good. Come on. Too much fluid. So I guess we'll set the torque afterwards. Ah, that was intense. Lost a lot of fluid. My brake fluid, but uh, I don't think it's critical. I'm gonna check the, the reservoir afterwards. Um, so yeah, someone has really tightening up the, the, that uh, that bolt. I'm not sure why. Okay, next step: put on the caliper. Uh, and that's uh, 35 newtons, so let's uh, set the torque right away. Like so, torqued up, torqued up, torqued up, torqued up. Everything is in place. Okay, last thing, I uh, forgot to torque up the the brake holes. Uh, so just use 28 and then uh, if it's le leaking afterwards you can tighten it a bit more but uh, it's, I don't think it's going to leak with new new uh, new uh, washers, new uh, shim shims or if you want to you new, use two new copper washers because these get compressed while tightening the, the brake holes. 